Automotive air conditioning systems are using less refrigerant than ever before. That means it's more important than ever before to find and fix even the smallest of leaks. How do you find the really tough ones? Stick around, I'll show you in today's Mighty Minute. Whether you rely on a UV dye to find leaks in the AC system, or you prefer an electronic leak detector, finding the small ones is always a challenge. So how do you make them stand up and show themselves? A common source of leaks, big and small, is the evaporator core. But because of its location, it can be hard to positively confirm that it is the source of the problem. So here's a tip. To make detection easier, put your customer's vehicle outside in direct sunlight and close it up good and tight. The whole idea is to get the interior of the truck as hot as we can. By doing so, we're also going to get the evaporator core as hot as we can, and that of course is going to raise the pressure of the refrigerant in the core. And that'll make that small leak a little easier to see. While that customer vehicle is heating up, it's a good time to check your electronic leak detector and make sure that it's functioning properly. The easiest way to do that is to use any vehicle that you have handy, open up the windshield washer bottle, and insert the tip of the tool into the top of the bottle, being careful not to get it into the fluid. It should alarm, and that should be the only fluid, other than a refrigerant source, underneath the hood that it alarms too. After the car has gotten good and hot, use your sniffer to check for the presence of refrigerant at the center dash vents. Just keep in mind that a negative test result here does not rule out the evaporator as a possible cause of the leak. Remember, refrigerant is heavier than air. It's going to tend to sink. So the next step we have to do is raise the vehicle up and look for the presence of refrigerant escaping from the evaporator core drain. If you still haven't confirmed a leak at the evaporator, but your gut tells you that's where it's coming from, here's one more tip for you. Take a styrofoam container, a little bowl or cup, and place it underneath the evaporator drain. Then start the vehicle and run the AC on max for several minutes, collecting that first little bit of condensation that'll drip out. If dye had escaped from any leak sites, the condensate just may wash it down and out of the drain tube and into the cup where you can see it. Now that's providing there's already dye in the system. How do you know? Remove the service caps and look for the presence of dye in either the low or high side service port. If you don't see any, it should be okay to add a small amount of the correct dye for the system, but make sure you allow it time to circulate before you perform this test again. Finding even the smallest of leaks is more critical than ever to both customer satisfaction and reduction in your comebacks. And with the high price of the new refrigerant R1234YF, it's also about saving a ton of money. I hope you found these tips helpful. Thanks for watching.